I was talking to you about this five minute video. I'm testing to see if I can actually do what I asked you guys to do. What I want you to do in your five minute video is state the problem. What's the problem? The problem that, the problem that I want to tell you about is sometimes you want to send a secret message, but you don't want anyone to know that it's even a secret message. In other words, if we encrypt the message, we can keep the message secret. But what if you don't even want somebody to, to know that the file might be a secret message? If you encrypt it, you can pretty much say, hey, is there something secret in here? Somebody wants some effort to <coughs> encrypt it. Steganography is the art of hiding things in plain sight. A JPEG file or a PDF file, you can insert a hidden message in there. I want to try to show you how to do that. So if you open up a command prompt, and you have a and you have a, a JPEG file or a PDF file. We can create a message, and we'll just say copy console uh, message.txt, and we just put anything we want in there, any message at all. The overwrite yes. Once we do that, we have a message. If I do type message.txt, it shows me my message. See that, AJH? Now if I want to, if I have a, 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 a JPEG file, like I'll do star.jpeg here. I have a, a JPEG called cat.jpeg, right here. If I do copy cat.jpg slash b plus message.txt slash b, and I put it into, say, stego1.jpg, what I'm doing is I'm appending two files and putting them into the JPEG, into a new JPEG. Now this is in my sandbox directory. If I go to, uh, let's say, paint, now what the hell, this one, I can just go to my sandbox. And we have this stego1.jpg. Looks like a cat. It's the same cat as in the original cat file. But there's a, there, that little AJH stuff that I put at the end is also in the file. And I'm going to show you if you uh, download a hex editor. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with hex editors. But I'll hex edit this file. If you, if you Google XVI32 or you Google hex editors, you can get one of these things. You can read, read the file in hex. So I'll just go down here and I'll check out my Stego one. And this is what the cat picture looks like in hex. If I go all the way down to the bottom, there's my text file at the end. So in other words, it looks X and, uh, you know, it looks like a, like a real JPEG file, but that message can be really infinitely long. On the server, I put a, a copy of a file called Dangerous Kitten. Have you guys heard of Dangerous Kitten? Let's see if I have it in here. Um, This file here, this is Dangerous Kitten. This is a JPEG file. About how big do you think this file is? Just guess. In terms of megabytes or kilobytes or bytes or whatever. Just print resolution. 300K maybe? 
maybe even 37K. You don't really know because you don't know the resolution, right? But if you look at this thing, it is a half of a gig. Oh. I'm sorry, half of a meg. Half of a meg. Half of a meg. Can you show the copy command? Yeah, sure. Here, I'll leave that up so you can see it. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Crazy big, but it could be infinitely big. That's the biggest text I could get on this computer. So uh, now the cool thing about this, uh, the cool thing about this dangerous kitten file is, if I go to this file and I rename it, I'm going to rename the file um, dangerous kitten. That here, I'll just explode here. Rename dangerous kitten dot jpeg. I'm going to rename it uh, dk dot zip. Now, if I go over into this this uh, thing, it's a zip file now, right? If I open it up, it unzips. So we have, this is anonymous as hacking tools. Some of them. The ones they give out to the, to the general public. So, you know, if you want to get, uh, the copy of it is on, on the uh, server of this non-open non university machine. I encourage you to test out the stuff that's on there. Could you drag that in there? And let me just show you some of the files you can, you can get at. It's going to take forever. Install this shortcut Python. What's that? Yeah. Some of the language may not be for public consumption, but you have to remember it is actually hacking stuff. But you know, I'm hoping that every class that we have a presentation, the five minute presentation, you actually learn something useful that you can take home with you and play around with. There's a lot more than, than one thing inside of that dangerous kitten file. I know that. Anonymous has upgraded their hacking tools, so they, this may not be the, the current one, but you see how, I guess the point of it is, you see how it looks like a JPEG file, it's not encrypted, right, it's about not encrypted, but the information is hidden. That's called steganography, and this is an example of it. Thus ended the presentation. Yeah. Uh, you said it was only a PDF or a JPEG. You said to choose one of them. Why is it? I chose those three things because they're easy to hex edit. Okay. <laughs> but like for example, if I go to my hex editor, is it open still? I want to go. Where is it? I want to go to my hex editor. If I, if I want to open my uh, my uh, PDF file, I, I created one stego.pdf earlier today with a secret message in there, and and just like a JPEG file, though this one's easier to read, you can kind of see right here, it's got percent percent EOF. That means the PDO the PDF. The Adobe program is saying, okay, I'm, I've hit the end of the file. Just because you hit the end of the file doesn't mean there can't be more file. So you can have a really, really long PDF that might only have two sentences in it. Or not one sentence. Here, I, here it says, hey, cat, easy on the bread. But you could put an infinitely long thing in there, or you could put an encrypted file in there. You know, as long as you had a stream, stream it. So that's why I use it. Any, any other questions? Yeah. Um, by default, will the message always be at the end, or can you uh, move it to like somewhere in the middle? You can put the message anywhere you want. As a matter of fact, you can screw with the PDF file if you really want. 
you put text in there, you can add text to a PDF file that wasn't in there. But it will mess up the formatting if you put a whole bunch of characters in there. Because Adobe is going to recognize everything up, up before here. After the end of file marker, it won't, it won't recognize anything. So, I mean, play with it. You can append part of the file. You can you, actually we could chop this file at a certain point and make it partial file. But uh, I suppose real hackers play around with these things, right? What can I do? How many different ways can I mess with whatever files it is? And uh, the reason why this might be important to a hacker is if you have half of a gig PDF files that ought to be 37k. You might ask yourself, hmm, I wonder if there's any hacker tools in there that people might be using, but they're hidden. And they don't have to have any encryption software. If they can get to your system and somehow log in, they have all the tools they need there. They can store them there. Most of the hackers will find a place to store their stuff so they don't have to upload it through the communication system, right? Because there might be a lot of programs to do. Hopefully that's interesting. Hopefully it will be too much more than five minutes. Let me turn out that thing. Okay. All right, back to the uh, lesson.